Hey guys, I hope you guys are all doing well today. Today I'm going to try to be drawing some jellyfish. A couple of weeks ago I went to the aquarium and I saw a lot of really cool animals including different types of um, like underwater manta rays and then fish, sharks, whales. I saw an axolotl which was really cool because I'm pretty fascinated with those things and I saw some jellyfish. And jellyfish just have their own sort of Jane say quoi, you know? So anyway, I don't usually draw animals in my sketchbook. The last time I drew an animal was um yeah, I, I don't even remember. And if someone asks me to draw an animal to save my life. What's your save my life or not be saved? Today we are going to be drawing some animals or jellyfish. And I'm going to fill a, a spread with them. And then at the end, maybe I, I'll make a little piece in watercolors or something. So anyway, let's get started. Oh yes, also for those of you that saw the video where I designed the character Sadie, I had like later that week designed a sort of a cover page for my sketchbook, my sketchbook number nine. So just so you guys know, if you were wondering, so I think I'm going to look at some reference photos of jellyfish and first I'm just going to try to like figure out what are the different parts of jellyfish, you know the different um, tentacles and stuff, draw it out and then I can figure out some fun colors to color them in. Yeah so these ones here were the ones that I saw at the aquarium so I'm going to start off, actually I should probably start off with a bigger picture, I don't know. I'll figure something out. And also, if you guys are wondering, then all of my, the pins that I'll be using today are going to be saved on my Pinterest account, which is linked down below. So if you guys want to use that, use those or follow me there, just go head over there. Okay, so I just learned that these jellyfish are called moon jellyfish. That's cool. These jellyfish look really cool. Okay, so let's see. I'm just going to start off by sketching... First, there's like this um, dome shape, which is like the jelly part, you know, here. And then we have this part here, which kind of opens up and it can be like scallops, I guess. And then there's this little, now under here, it looks like this is where all the tentacles come out. And the tentacles for moon jellyfish are weird. They're not... Like, they're tentacles, but you can barely see them. They're, like, they're, like, transparent. They're somewhat curled, if that makes sense, but, like, also very transparent. And, yeah, they have this blue color. Let's see, so one here, one there. Actually, wait, yeah, one there. And there's one here. This one's like kind of scallops on that edge. Oh my gosh, that looks so bad. Wait, let me see. Uh, maybe I have to do it this way instead. Should make this one smaller. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So the tentacles are kind of weird, but let's just roll with it. That's how they look. And then inside of the jellyfish, there's this like transparent dome inside. And there's these little bulbs on the top, like so. Then there's a picture of one that's like upside down. So, or not upside down, but you can see it from the top, which means what you can see is basically the top sort of circle part of the jelly and you can see a little bit of its tentacles hanging out just chilling it's so weird this inner like chamber part is it's like i don't know how do i explain i'm just like oh my goodness this is really cool though and then they have these really cool patterns which i guess is the top of the like bubble things right here all right, I find it hard to explain to you what this is because right now it looks like a mess, 
but believe me, this is how it looks. It's just in sketch form. All right, so this is the moon jellyfish. I want to try to draw a couple different kinds of jellyfish and then color them. So I think I'm going to fill this page with jellyfish. And then over here, I think I might do a little like ink illustration because I haven't used my Bombay ink since October. And I want to use this again. So now let's try to find a different jellyfish. Ooh, there's some really pretty ones. <gasps> there's pink, purple. Oh my goodness. Bro, look at that. That is, that's awesome. All right, found this pink one. We're just gonna sketch it out. So this one is, I'm not really sure what it's called, but this one has more of a um, scallop or domed top. It almost looks like it has like pleats. So all of the skin is in these little, like folds, if that makes sense. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so it's in these folds here like this and like that and like that all right yeah kind of like this and let's see that sort of shape again I think this is where the tentacles are going to protrude out of oh I found this orange jellyfish that's upside down let's draw it I think that one reason why jellyfish are so difficult to draw is because sometimes it's like these parts of their plume or whatever this is called. I need to figure out what this is called. Yeah, I, th I think I need to do that because I know like nothing about the jellyfish and yet I'm drawing it so I should probably figure it out. Anyway, I think the most difficult thing to draw or about it that makes it difficult to draw, you know? is because there's so many pieces of this plume part that are like disconnected. Like there might be a piece of that plume part that's like right here, you see? And it's just like, how? But somehow it's all connected, I don't know. It's fascinating, but it's also tricky. <laughs> so for the first jellyfish, these moon jellyfishes, I'm gonna use these light blue colors. And then for these like, for the bobble parts, I'll probably go in with my gel pen because I don't know if I can achieve that look with a marker and I think that I'm I don't think I'm gonna do line art on the jellyfish I think it would look better if I just colored them in and then kind of did line art with the colored pencil you know I think that would look really good okay so I have a good question have you ever been stung by a jellyfish I remember we were at the beach one year and my sister got stung by a jellyfish and it looked like it really hurt, so. These things look pretty, but these things are dangerous, so watch out. Okay, this is looking okay so far. I think the shading is off a little bit. I just, yeah, okay, yeah, we're good. Let's, I just need to figure, figure out this shading right here, like where the ripped parts are. And then once I put the pencil on top, I think it will help to define some parts of it. And then I just have to also define the bubbles at the top of it more. But this looks like a jellyfish to me. It might not look like a jellyfish to you, but I think it looks like a jellyfish to me. So we're just going to roll with it.
actually really happy with how they're turning out. And I'm just adding a little bit of purple in some places. Because in some places, there's just a little bit of purple in there. Just gives it that extra, like, pop. I don't know. Ooh, that looks actually kind of gross. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, but like down at the tentacles, there are parts that have a tiny bit of purple in it. So I'm just putting it out there. Alright, that's good. Those look great. Okay, now we're gonna do our beautiful pink jellyfish. I actually probably should have outlined or drawn the jellyfish in my red colorist pencil, but that's okay. ties it together is putting in all of the whites like the the highlights and stuff because so much of the jellyfish is like the highlights and the transparency kind of factor so I think putting all of the highlights on it really ties it together all right I think this is all I'm gonna do today but let me show you a close-up of my jellyfish okay so these are the jellyfish from up close these are the um, moon jellyfish up here with the blue focus, thank you. I think those turn out really well. And then here's the pink one. I'm not really sure what its name is, but if I figure it out, I'll put it in the video. And then this is going to be the orange jellyfish that I will color. I don't think I'm gonna do my ink project today, in, or at least in this video, but I might put out a short later today or a different day um, where I paint the jellyfish and inks but anyway this was super fun to draw and i love jellyfish now jellyfish are so amazing and if you are like me and maybe you don't draw animals i'd recommend going on pinterest or pexels or whatever and looking for references for animals if you would like to see the references that i use today again they're in the description box on my pinterest page and i will see you guys in the next video bye